My name is Dr. Marvin. That's what I look like. That isn't much what's left of me. But I'm still striving to help people. Here's my CV. I have a BS in pharmacy, University of Kansas. Doctor of medicine, University of Kansas. Physicians for 55 years. 55 now as we had our reunion three weeks ago. I was assistant professor of family practice, University of Kansas, chairman of family community and geriatric medicine at Oral Roberts University in Tulsa. And the rest, well, I did have a radio program here in Kansas City called What's Up, Doc? And it was all the new things. And the things that you could do as an old country doctor would tell you that you wouldn't have to go to the doctor. Different things that you can do at home to prevent that. I have to make a disclaimer for this wonderful product called Protandum. It's not intended to treat, cure, or prevent any disease. I'm required to say that. What is Protandum? A very brief review for newcomers. Protandum is an NRF2 activator, a biochemical wake-up call to all of our bodies. NRF2 is an enzymatic transference pathway that is in all of our bodies, all, all 100 trillion cells. And we have had no natural activator of NRF2 ever put on the market until Protandum. That's a big issue here because it will activate every cell in your body. And this is kind of how it works. I'm sorry to have something as complicated and strange as NRF2 activation, but that's just what it does. Here's the inside of your cell. Here's protandum. It connects onto these little uh, kinase particles and goes all around your cells, kind of like a, a cleanup sweeper, cleaning out your cells, and that's part of where we get our survival-related enzymes that are produced inside that cell. There's many survivor enzymes from survivor genes, and that's what the activation of NRF2 leads to. I will try not to be any more scientific than that, because I know that is something that unless you've had background, you, you probably won't be real interested in. Protandum provides protection against oxidative stress. We have all kinds of oxidative stress in our society. This is the cause of our aging. Now, to best describe this would be to take a piece of steel, lay it outside for a month, and see what it would look like. It would be rusty. Rust to steel is like aging to your body. And we're all aging at varying degrees. It also protects against inflammation. This is the strongest anti-inflammatory ever found that's totally safe because no gastric irritation, we can give it to babies. It also will eliminate fibrosis. That's a big issue because there's a lot of it, uh, collect a lot of fibrotic tissue as we get older. Also, it's been proven by clinical studies to lessen carcinogenesis. On that alone, folks, I would be taking this. And there's other stressful conditions. And how did it do that? How does protandum do that? Well, see, it affects 4,000 genes in your body. And they're not done because these medical schools are telling us new information all the time. And the latest report, I had a meeting with Dr. Joe McCord in San Antonio, and he said that when we end up with all this research with 29 medical schools, we're going to end up with somewhere between six and eight thousand genes that are impacted by protandum. Now, it ex regulates gene expression, instructing our cells to combat these conditions above, these five conditions, using information encoded in the DNA contained in each and every cell. Well, let me tell you, that's where health resides, is in the cell. You get healthy cells, you're going to have healthy tissues. Now, our ninth clinical study has just been completed. It was done at the University of Colorado School of Medicine, separate from Dr. McCord's unit in the biochem department. 
in what it showed that atherosclerosis, or the origin of all heart disease, there's 19 genes identified. These are modulated by protandum. Also, colon cancer. 28 genes were identified, modulated by protandum. Alzheimer's, as you know, is pert near an epidemic in this country. And it's due to oxidative stress. Everybody's been wondering, what causes Alzheimer's? We know now. It's oxidative stress. And there's 66 genes identified. These are modulated by protandum. This shows the possibilities that are enormous of preventing these three devastating diseases. And that's the gist of this ninth clinical study. And anybody that would like to have a copy of that, all they have to do is email me. And I think most of you have my email. If not, you can email Building Strength Webinars, and David will send you my email. Now, Pertandem is the only supplement, only, get that, supplement clinically proven to reduce oxidative stress by an average of 40%, slowing down the cell aging process to the level of a 20-year-old. Wow. Is that ever a mouthful? Well, that isn't my saying it, and it isn't the company saying it. The FDA approved that statement. That's big. 40%. I want that. You know, that slows your aging down to the speed of the aging of a 20-year-old. FDA approved statement. This shows as you get older, your T-bars, which is a chemical in your blood that you collect as you get older. And scientists can take a, some of your blood and give you within two or three years of your age by the T-bars. If you take protandum for 30 days, your T-bars will not change from that of a 20-year-old. Proven, folks, by 30 labs. 30 labs. Okay? How do we feed aging? There's two types of antioxidants. Neutralize these destructive free radicals that we all have being produced in our body through the metabolization of food. But we have two ways of combating that. Direct antioxidants, which is mostly juices, fruits, and vitamins, red wine, etc. Blueberries, pomegranates, whatever. That's the direct antioxidants. Up until now, that's been the entire field of antioxidants. However, we now have indirect antioxidants. We don't have an oxidants, plural, we have one. And here's what they do. They work entirely within the cell. These work outside the cell. And these work on three main enzyme systems inside the cell. One is superoxide desmutase, which Dr. Joe McCord discovered when he got his PhD at Duke University. Catalase, which we've known inside the cell. And Glutathione peroxidase. So what difference does this have over that? Well, big. The definition of an antioxidant is an agent that inhibits or neutralizes free radicals by the donation of an electron, thereby preventing damage to our cells. It's an agent that neutralizes free radicals by the donation of electrons. Now, how important is that? 73% of the U.S. population will die prematurely due to a deficiency of antioxidant ability or activity in their body. This involves the top 10 leading cause of death, also including the ones we just mentioned, colon cancer, heart disease, atherosclerosis, and Alzheimer's. Free radicals? cause aging and disease. Many diseases are associated with cellular deterioration due to rogue molecules called free radicals. That's, in essence, what did this. We think of oxidative stress like rusting a metal. But no, we aren't metal. We're human tissue. So 
the high levels of oxidative stress are associated with more than 200 top human diseases, including cancer, heart disease, muscular dystrophies, diabetes, liver disease, autism, periodontal disease, and Alzheimer's. Now, the, one of the first colleges to do on their own research on protanum was Harvard University in Boston, studying Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, and proved in our first clinical paper, and you can, I'll tell you how to find that, that it would do the reversal of Duchenne's, which has been a deadly disease of little boys dying usually between 12 and 14 years of age. What really works when you're dealing with free radicals? Well, direct antioxidants is a one-on-one, -on -one. like one part of antioxidant will neutralize one part of free radical, period. You can say milligram for milligram if you want it. That's a direct antioxidant. Now, the only indirect antioxidant is protandum, but it works in a little bit different way, a higher magnitude. It's one per one million, per second, every second, for 13 days. I'll repeat that. Protandum eradicates free radicals one million per second, every second, for 13 days. How many free radicals does your body produce every day? Well, I'm glad you asked. We produce so many that to completely eliminate them with a direct antioxidant, with juices and fruits, vitamins, blueberries, here's what you would have to consume every day. 87 glasses of red wine, 375 oranges, 11 pounds of blueberries, or 120 vitamin C tablets, 15, 500 milligrams each, and every day to neutralize the amount of free radicals your body produces every single day. Okay? Here's my answer. How many free radicals do we produce every day in our bodies? 300 with 21 zeros. It's called 300 sextillion. Now, you can see why you must have an antioxidant that deals in the realm of protandum. One million free radicals neutralized per second, every second, for 13 days. And the next day, you'll make that much more. And so you take a pill. One a day, every day. This is what you use. So, direct antioxidants versus indirect. Fact, direct antioxidants do not effectively neutralize free radicals or lower oxidation in the body. They do not effectively neutralize free radicals or lower oxidation in the body. So we cross that one out, and here it is. Protanum is the only supplement clinically proven to reduce oxidative stress by an average of 40%, slowing down the cell aging to the level of a 20-year-old. While conventional or direct antioxidants can neutralize only one free radical molecule per molecule, protandum triggers the creation of enzymes that can each eliminate over a million free radicals per second without being used up, per second, every second, for 13 days. You see, folks, that's why this is important. That's why this is going to change the way you feel if you allow it. Now, we have only one product in two forms. One, we have a tablet. Two, we have a cream. And this is a wonderful cream, and this has been proven by a published paper from Louisiana State University with a research they had done on skin cancer. This will remove skin cancer. And I can say that because it's published. If you have an argument with me, please just go to bigbluecalendar.com and pull up that LSU article 
and you have an argument with them. That's what they say. Utilizes proven benefits of protandum. It's a cream with protandum. Fights radical damage to the skin. Noticeably diminishes fine lines and deep wrinkles. I've never seen anybody ask me how they can get more of those. Stimulates skin renewal. Collagen and elastin production. Lightens age spots. You know those big brown spots? And balances pigmentation. Increases skin smoothness and motor moisture, moisturization. Dermatological tested. Dr. Kimberly Stone, MD in Denver, a dermatologist, uses this in her practice. Now, here's some results. This lady has got a few wrinkles here, yawn, and everywhere. Here's 60 days later. I don't know whether you can see the difference, but she was sure happy. And here's another one. Now, these little crevices are kind of like mine. You know, something you put in there, take a trowel to cover them up with an ointment or a cream. But look at here, 56 days later, moisture's been reinstated, collagen and elastin has been reinstated in this face. My wife uses this instead of makeup now and has for about four months. You know, it's different. Here's Kimberly Stone's comment. True science is different in formulating true science. She was in on it. She made the recommendations for the base. We took the best ingredients from different successful products and then added several of the main components of Protandum to develop a very unique product. There are many anti-aging creams out there that contains antioxidants, but none, none that have the powerful combination true science has. I'm excited about the potential I see with this true science. She said once, that she uses it in about 80% of the patients she sees. Now here's something about the formulator, Dr. Joe McCoy. I've met with him a couple of times. In 1968, a highlight of Duke University Medical School, when Dr. Erwin Fredovich and graduate student Joe McCoy discover the enzyme which protects all living things against the toxicity of oxygen. Dr. McCord helped launch the study of antioxidants in 1969, co-discovered free radical biology, nominated four times for the Nobel Prize in Medicine, received the L.A. Preston Medal in 1997. In fact, the last recipient that has been given to was Dr. Joe McCord. And why was he given that? For discovering the biology of free radical reactions in living organisms. He's now professor of medicine at the University of Colorado. And I might add, Duke University had their centennial this May. A hundred years as a medical school. And they listed the five most outstanding accomplishments of that hundred year tenure of Duke University School of Medicine. One of the five was Dr. Joe McCord and his mentor, Irvin Fredovich, in their discovery of superoxide desmutase. One of the five outstanding things Duke University did in their hundred years was his discovery of superoxide desmutase. Okay? L.A. Crescent Award is here. But I'll show you some other people that also have won this. You might know of Marie and Pierre Curie, Wilbur and Orville Wright, Alexander Graham Bell, Henry Ford for the assembly line. What would we do without the assembly line? And Joe McCord. Now, here's a little study that was done by 30 labs, each separate. Testing the T-bars, that's thiobartrate. And a 20-year-old level, a 40-year-old, 60, and an 80-year-old. But if you give each one of these people protandum for 30 days, like we're doing here, here's the result. The T-bars are down at the same level as the 20-year-old. Folks, I ask you, join me in a quest to help people slow down their aging 
and put more life in their years instead of just years in their life. We've got too much of that. I used to go to 11 nursing homes in Kansas City because I had a compassion for old people. Now I am one. But I know now that I can cut down my aging. And that's what I'm all about today. We have four patents. These patents were issued 07, 08, 09, and 11. And they're composition patents, alleviating oxidative stress in mammals, composition alleviating oxidative stress in mammals. This is a different one than this one. And this was different than all of them. And if you want to really read exciting reading, and I'm not being facetious, you want to read these patents because they tell you everything the Britannum was tested on. It's magnanimous. Pan partial list of studies in the medical field. These are all schools that are now doing research at their own expense on Protandum. They're that excited about it. Here's University of Michigan. I believe Michigan State is also here, but I'm not sure it's on this list. Ohio State, University of Minnesota, Virginia Commonwealth, Vanderbilt, University of Florida, Harvard, Louisiana State. Now, folks, you may think that this is just another supplement. But you've never seen this with a supplement ever, ever before. Denver Health Medical Center, University of Colorado, University of Michigan, University of Kentucky. There's 29 scientific studies of Portandum underway at leading research institutions, 29 medical schools, involving the most serious of all health conditions. And we get these publications, of which we now have nine, as soon as the studies are complete. Join me in helping people feel a better life at their age. 